right, everybody. I'm joined by Obi. Shout out to Obi. This man, I, I do. Tell everybody. Tell Obi real quick. Say what up. What's up? This man is telling Obi. me he's worried that his accent is going to give him problems on commentary. Absolutely not. You're a king. Don't worry about that. You have a fun time. We're going to talk about this first game here. We got TRL versus 6AM. This match should be absolutely ridiculous. It is Incineroar versus Captain Falcon. TRL is one of the most stylish Captain Falcons that nobody knows about yet, and people will learn real quick. Uh, but 6AM, one of the premier Incineroars, for good reason, is a bit of a problem to deal with as the match goes on. He's actually putting out numbers nowadays. Yeah. He's playing really like, out of his mind. And this matchup, in my opinion, is really explosive, even though Incineroar is not fast, but when he hits you, he just, you know, he just hits you so hard that it makes it... Yeah. I mean, know. like, this matchup is crazy because of the Oh, Ooh, wow! Side is that true? No, that is not true at all. That, that is literally, that's literally a check on you trying to swing on a disadvantage. Yep. Like, no he, mashing. He, yeah, he's like, I'm going to beat you on that. But down tilt to F tilt. Sweet spot, too. Actually not getting the kill. But you ain't making this one back here. He's probably going to cover him. Oh, good early up B, but responded by his own cross shot after the tech. These two are swinging. 6 a.m. Edge guard is Woo! actually pretty good. Come on. Like, he's really good at ledge trapping mm -hmm. and... That could just win you games. Like, just ledge trapping people could just win you games. Yes. Out. Ledge trapping is one of the most key factors to being a top player in this game free. Nice. If you want to... Oh, my See? God. Awesome. Coming with the You just ledge trap somebody or edge guard somebody and you just win. Yeah, both of them got stops for days, Obi. This, 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 this. Oh, yeah. They both could just... <laughs> destroy each other on stage speaking of which oh, oh wow that's what the fact that you said the stylish combos he's gonna up tilt i thought he was gonna up tilt him too i thought he was gonna up tilt there i think tro was expecting a roll on and after he realized he couldn't get it just kind of respecting him but that time you see how six switched it up to darkest lariat that's his one of his fastest out of air uh air options neutral b yeah the neutral b because you want to beat out that uh, that knee that follows up again so if um, TRL hits side B, he could actually just wait for a panic option. He could get really good punish and take it. Oh, goodbye, oh baby! Oh, God. Catching him on the jump after he goes for the whip side B. You, you pretty much, you have to respect, you have to accept that. Thing. Like, oh unfortunately God. for yeah. Captain Falcon, because your jump got ripped, you always take that stop no there. No jump, you're like, dead. Pre Pringle paws, Cheeto fingers, yeah, all of them. Uh, and, like, this matchup is kind of difficult in a way that it's it's hard for Captain Falcon to successfully keep that pressure on against a character who has something like a Lone Whip or Darkest Lariat um, in a lot of really good aerials on a sheet, uh, like, in disadvantage. Whereas normally, well, really? Oh, he's, oh he was hovering over the Diddy Kong for a second. That's his old main. That's yeah, his Smash he's Wii main. too, right? Wait. It's not bad. Bro, he really it's not a bad pick. It's not. It's, it's not at all. This is a nice pick. Yeah, this is a really good pick against Incineroar, bro. Like, uh, the only thing that can struggle for Diddy Kong in the, is that he can kind of have a hard time killing at high percent. Yeah. Um. But you know, the pressure of Diddy doesn't really work against you know characters who are out of shield. But he just has. To, he's kind of forced to camp in this matchup. He can't just run in because one. Um. You lose neutral ones. And you can just die off it because yeah, he just showed you that don't go off stage because I can just beat you. Yeah, exactly. Like Diddy Kong is one of those characters that's so good at whittling down someone who's slow on approach, like an Incineroar. But Incineroar's buttons up close are so good that if you let him get in that one time, you're that's asking amazing. for trouble. But Etero is simplifying the game so well. He's using Banana to stop that, and now whip punishing here does not get the off smash though. This could lead to a lot. He don't need to approach at all. He can just get center stage and just camp with Banana. He don't need to yep. approach at all. I agree with that one hundred percent. He's playing too. Um, I think nervous. He just wants to get like the stops. Like mm -hmm. he just wants to get the stop. Yeah. It's oh, here we go. The last trapping. Let's trapping. That's everything in this game. That's so scary too, because just before that, that last stock, he got caught by jump fair by by six. He didn't die or anything. But yeah. That but puts still, it in like your a head. Check. It's a yeah. check. And now he's like, oh, I gotta hold ledge because he's probably gonna go for that. But then that was bad DI too, though. He was no, cool he was dead no matter what. That F tilt is so That's strong. True? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is okay. very strong. You could DI, like if you DI properly on the down tilt, you might avoid the the, the F tilt. But it's it's in one of those positions where it's Ooh. easy to pop up and try to find a downer. But the aggressive jump near out of that, most people don't think to jump, jump back yeah. at you there. <laughs> they just jump back. Most people are just gonna like go to the floor. Not six. He's ready to scrap. Much like with this revenge right now. That's about. Oh, Never mind, he took a 40% forward there, bro. 40% forward. <laughs> okay, I think... I think TRL is just playing a little too, like... Mm -hmm. You know... Like, he's too anxious to get something started. He's not being patient. He's not whiff punishing. Like, a, a character like Incineroar, in my opinion, you're forced to whiff punish him. Because yeah. if not, you can just lose neutral ones. 
and then that that could be your stock. Agree. Oh, that was amazing. Yes, that perfect really execution good. right there. Capitalizing on it at thirty-seven percent. Sometimes if somebody goes off stage, Octar will definitely yeah, take that then, right there. No hey, also you heard the stop, but I love when Six <laughs> like everything Six does. He gets animated with the character as he does it. Why? <laughs> IRL, right? Yeah, this could be a completely <laughs> different game if TRL doesn't find that downer off stage. And now he gets the downer there. You I always think, dark Kessler. I don't think right that's an optimal way to punish. He could go for like falling uppers into more mm -hmm. uppers or like, you know, to falling uppers and forwards just so he could get off stage. Yeah. That would be like more of a better, you know, options against a character like Incineroar where you're forced to just kill, you know? Yeah. You can't really play with him in neutral. I think the thing is, TRL likes going for, he likes going for data checks, he goes for downer to get somebody to hold shield and then he'll get you like a free throw. A reset, yeah, he yeah. just reset it and keep going. But 6am knows, like if I swing here, the worst that I take a trade on is not that bad, but right now he's got to worry about being at the ledge, for smash kills, oh, oh the smash the on reef. the roll, catching him on his way in, that's going to be 6am taking it out, TRL going to go down 2-0 there. That was there. really good. Very well played by 6, man, very, very well played, as we see him capitalize on that W. And take it. Uh, that was wow. that was one of our faster matches was, that, we've seen today. Do you notice like most of the kills were all off stage, mm -hmm. like both characters? Yeah, like a, the, a lot of that came. A, a lot of that uh, definitely came off of the off stage play for sure. Uh, so I really like the way that Six kind of simplified the game. Uh, you were talking about it. Once you see someone who is consistently being a little bit too antsy, they're kind of stressing a bit. Take advantage of that because I apply that to myself actually. It's.